All hail the beat, it's your boy Big B B, and we back for another edition of Big B Business. For those of you new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help improve your confidence by way of compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, we ask that you hit the subscribe button so you can come back to rock with your boy. Today's video comes by way of a subscriber comment. Sort of. See, I was recently doing a live with Mr. Cologne76 on Instagram. If you have not checked that out yet, be sure to hit his page and check that out. But someone wanted to know, like, hey, how do I know what fragrance to wear, how many sprays to wear, etc. And that made me think about, well, the lessons that I learned in fragrance. So today I'm going to let you know three lessons in fragrances I wish I would have known sooner. So lesson number one, lesson number one is something that I think a lot of people out there think about, but they may not say it openly because sometimes it comes off weird, especially when applied to anything else. So first off, I want to say lesson number one that I wish I would have known sooner is that it's okay to wear clones. Yes, when I hear the word clones, like many of you out there, I think fake, I think gimmick, I think knockoff, but in reality that is not always the case here's the deal man i personally wasn't into wearing clones replicas fakes knockoff b grades or any type of name you want to give them until i started doing fragrance reviews listen i was very weary in terms of what fragrances i would put on my body what fragrances i would add to my collection and i think that that some of that comes from my upbringing. Come up in the upbringing not having much, you always want the real deal. But I was introduced to the world of clone perfumes or clone fragrances, and some of them are really, really good. Now, fragrances and the hobby of fragrance can get quite expensive, and not all fragrances are cheap, and some fragrances cost a lot more than others and some people may not be in their financial journey to be able to afford some of those higher end scents and i feel that some fragrance houses do these clones well two clone houses that come to mind for me are alexandria fragrances as well as Parfums vintage now they do things completely different in terms of quality and what their number one aim is and depending on what you are looking for and why you would wear a clone fragrance well it, you might want to look into them both or some of the others that are out there so alexandria fragrances they pretty much are focusing on fragrances that do well fragrances that cost a lot right and fragrances that they could provide to people for a cheaper price and this one here is 1981x which is a replica clone fake dupe whatever you want to call it of a fragrance from zhirzhov which is naxos 1861 all right amazing fragrance both of these right plenty of compliments here and you can get that one for like 60 bucks all right don't quote me on a price go to their site to check it out but this one here from Possum's Vintage, which is going to be Intrigo Devastante Intense, this is probably one of the best ways to do clone fragrances because this fragrance is no longer available, all right? This fragrance is based on Dolce & Gabbana by Man, the one that comes in the zebra print bottle, and that fragrance is no longer available in a store, discount sites, etc. In fact, if you're looking to pick this fragrance up today, most times you're going to pay over 300 bucks for a fragrance that was under a hundred dollars when it initially released so you have that for me i think that wearing clone fragrances when <laughs> you are prompted to do so when you have to do so is good i think the downside of that is trying to pass it off as if it's the real deal i.e if you're wearing a creed aventus clone if someone asks you what you're wearing, then tell them the name of that Creed Aventus clone versus telling them Creed. I think it's all about how you present it and why some people get angry in terms of clones, replicas, etc. So that's the first lesson I wish I would have known. And a lot of you out there, hopefully, if you're new to the world of fragrance, you know now that it is okay to wear clone fragrances. Lesson number two for me, well, I learned this one pretty early on, but... From time to time doing experimenting, I was way off the mark. And a lot of you out there will know what I'm referencing when I talk about this, all right? And the lesson that I'm talking about is your fragrance should match your vibe. I know a lot of people out there say wear what you want when you want to. In fact, I actually say that. Wear what you want 
when you want to but I have to preface this all right it should be the appropriate occasion because not only are you worried about what people think you should smell like at least that's how I got into fragrances all right I got into fragrances because someone said to me hey I think this is a great way to get people to uh, speak to you, get the tension, etc. And I decided to get into the world of fragrances from there. Some of you may be different. That's why compliments is key for me. But, but a fragrance doesn't always work in every situation and or environment. Let's take this fragrance here, which is Mancetta's Red Tobacco. An amazing fragrance. It's strong. It's potent. It projects, but... This fragrance is going to be best used in the fall and winter. If you wanted to wear this fragrance to the beach, chances are, if you're in Florida in the dead of summer, wearing this fragrance, you're gonna have a difficult time getting compliments. You're gonna have a difficult time of having anyone wanting to stand around you for any given period of time, or you may not even want to be around yourself. So understand that although there is no set hard fast rules and what you can or what you cannot wear i think it's going to be best for you to wear fragrances that are appropriate for the situation the fragrance should always match your vibe so before you leave the house and before you spray on look at yourself in the mirror and say vibe check all right make sure that matches up now the third lesson here is one that it took me a while to get into in fact i'm a little disappointed that it took me so long to do this and i don't do it all the time but i i am open to checking these out from time to time and when it works well it works extremely well and that lesson is it is okay as a man to wear a woman's fragrance and as a woman it's okay to wear a man's scent so what does that mean it is okay to wear fragrance of any selection um, as long as it suits your vibe all right so here's the deal i want to talk about this fragrance here which is roses must from the house of montal now as you can see this one's pretty pink and pink in most cases leans towards uh what a woman would wear unless you're cameron and then you change the game all right uh roses must is a magnificent scent and even the name roses is a floral note the florals generally are made for women and there we have it okay so listen it is okay to do so in fact when done in the correct way in the right situation well you could be the best smelling guy in the room in fact she'll likely never have come across the guy who has smelled like you there are a ton of fragrances out there that fit this vibe but today i'm just want to talk about this one here which is roses must this one has this uh, uniqueness about it in terms of that roses there it's potent and this one also feels strong enough for a man it's light enough in some areas that it could be stated to be for a woman but i feel that this fragrance here really matches and compliments me well and may compliment a lot of you out there well as well so you don't have to wear this fragrance um but let's say you want to wear delina from parfum de mali or let's say you want to wear cassily from parfum de mali the choice is yours just make sure it works well with your skin and you're wearing it in a situation where you feel comfortable trust me doing things like this is going to set you apart from your male counterparts out there and likely help you garner more compliments so those are three lessons that i wish i learned sooner when it comes down to the world of fragrance i would love to know any additional rules and or lessons that you learned that you think would be beneficial to the masses if you have them comment down below i'm sure we would love to hear them because i would love to hear them as well be sure to comment like subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again and you already know what i need you to do just hit the god damn